Guys, this is the Audio Technica ATH TW X7, and I would say that compared to the X9, which I reviewed a while back, I think this is a more conventional option because the X9 has that UV light sterilizing feature, and this doesn't. And there are also some other key differences in terms of specs and features. For example, the X7 supports streaming over LDAC instead of APTX adaptive. That is good for being a more common high res codec, which does stream up to 24 bit 96 kHz audio, plus, it does not need to be Snapdragon Sound certified, which is why I described the X7 as being more conventional because it's going to be more familiar to audiophiles coming from other high res certified earbuds. The so called biggest advantage that I can see here versus the X9 is the battery. It's just slightly better than the X9 with the case, but it still pales in comparison with many other earbuds that boast up to 24 hours of battery or more. Which isn't an issue though, because if you're just using these earbuds on your daily commute, in this case, up to 6 hours per charge in the earbuds is still plenty. Now, what I do really like about them compared to other earbuds is that these are still one of the most customizable. All the controls can be customized to your preference. So if you want, you can even make the touch and button controls on each earbud mirror the other side so that you can use just one side at a time and both sides will work the same. It's also one of only a few that has two different voice pickup modes to choose from. So you can actually set whether you want the mics to have a more natural voice capture suitable for quiet environments or to cut noise aggressively during phone calls. Here's how its mic sounds like in noise reduction mode tested in both quiet and noisy conditions using some really loud cafe noise and wind noise from this fan. I'm now making a phone call in a quiet place using the Auditechnica TWX7 on noise reduction mode. I'm now making a phone call in a quiet place using the Audio Technica TWX9 earbuds. I am now making a phone call in a quiet place using the BMW PI7 S2. I am now making a phone call in a quiet place using the Sony WF-1000XM5. I am now making a phone call in a quiet place using the Bose QC Ultra earbuds. I am now making a phone call in a quiet place using the Jabra Elite 10. I am now making a phone call in a quiet place using the AirPods Pro 2 USB Type C version. I am now making a phone call in a noisy place using the Audio Technica TWX7 on noise reduction mode. I am now making a phone call in a noisy place using the Audio Technica TWX9 earbuds. I am now making a phone call. Noisy place using the BMW PI7 S2. I'm now making a phone call in a noisy place using the Sony WF-1005. I'm now making a phone call in a noisy place using the Bose QC. I'm now making a phone call in a noisy place using the Jabra Elite L. I am now making a phone call in a noisy place Now I do have to say that its noise gating does seem quite aggressive, even with just a regular voice recording app without its own noise reduction feature. My voice sounds very suppressed in noisy conditions, not as well amplified as other earbuds, even compared to the X9. That is not ideal because whoever's on the call will have to max out the volume on their end, otherwise they can't hear you. So if I'm using the X7 every day to take phone calls, most likely I'll just switch it to normal voice pickup and only try to take calls in less noisy conditions. Before we talk about active noise cancelling, if you found this video helpful, get subscribed and tap the bell button to stay notified for more videos like 
this one. Oh, and if you want to check the latest prices of these earbuds, I've got links to their Amazon pages in the description below. In terms of active noise cancelling, I find it quite effective overall, as in I did get much quiet in the mid-range when I'm walking outside in the mall, so I don't really hear voices that much. Even the low hum from ambient activity around me was quite subdued, but it wasn't the best noise cancelling I've had. I mean, if we were to compare it to, say, other premium earbuds, it is quieter than some of them, but not as quiet as others, including the TWX9, as you can hear in the following samples recorded under the same noisy conditions as before. If you want to compare their active noise cancelling and call quality to other earbuds, do become a member for $1 per month or more. This gives you full access to my personal comparison tool, which you can use to compare earbuds A to B at your own time and at your own pace. Many people have joined up, especially people who can't simply visit a store anytime to compare earbuds. They know that this is going to save them so much time being able to just cut through all the marketing and compare these earbuds remotely without visiting a store. So become a member like them, click on the link below to find out more. In terms of transparency, so far I have to say that it's probably the weakest aspect of it. I mean, it does let in enough sounds for you to be aware, but there is a noticeable occlusion effect, so it's not as transparent as something like the AirPods Pro 2, and they also don't seem to be as transparent as the X9. If you do need to have a conversation with someone, yes, there is a talk-through mode that you can activate easily by double-tapping the left ear, but it's different from the usual transparency mode because it focuses more on amplifying the vocal frequencies, while blocking some ambient noise, but using talk-through mode, it sounded weird. Because when I tried using it, the voice of the person I'm talking to sounds a bit muffled, and even my own voice sounded muffled. So conversing in talk-through mode didn't feel so smooth. In terms of sound, frequency sweeps show that the X7 generally follows the same tuning pattern as the X9. Except in the mid-range where the X7 is heavier in general, save for the 1.3 kHz region where the X9 has a bit more gain with a tighter Q factor. Now, this simply means that on the X9, vocals are gonna sound sharper and crisper. But comparing these two earbuds to the most popular earbuds in the market, they are gonna sound more flat and laid back in the bass and high frequencies. So to some people used to a more exciting sound, both the X9 and especially the X7s are going to sound dead. I mean, listen to the samples and let me know if that's what you think.
were like fireworks Thought nothing could break us But oh how we got burned so if you thought the X7 sounded dead, don't worry, these can be equalized to suit your preference in the Connect app using its 5-band graphic EQ. I've created a custom EQ that somewhat restores the thump and sizzle in its sound. I mean, yes, there isn't much you can do with just 5 bands, but I've made the best of it by bumping up the bass almost all the way up told you I'm a bass head. I've also cut the 250 hertz a bit to add a bit of separation and gradually added to the mids and highs to craft a more V-shaped sound, which is how I like it. So overall, what do I like about the X7? Well, it's very customizable. It's got the basic specs that most audiophiles need. And after a bit of tweaking, I think they do sound great. Its multipoint pairing also works very well, very smooth. You don't even need to pause on one device to play on the other. Just press play on the second device and it takes over, well, most of the time. Because if you are switching to iPhone playing Apple Music, you need to pause first on the previous device before you press play. Only Apple Music with other apps, they just hijack each other. For stem type earbuds, they don't tend to stay well in my ears, but these ones, man, they lock in great. Very snug and stable, no need for special ear tips or that sort of thing. And that also has a big impact on user experience because the sound's gonna be more consistent, the noise cancelling constant. But of course, it's far from perfect. If I could change something, it's the size of the case. Yes, it doesn't look too large, but it's got some girth. This means when you put it in your pocket, it shows up more. And when you try to stuff it in your coins pocket, you find out that it's pretty much impossible. Its transparency mode could also use a bit of polishing. I wanted to pick up my own voice a bit more as well as others. Also, its voice pickup in noisy conditions, even with voice reduction on, is not great. Maybe a future software update can make voices more amplified, but if you're taking calls in noisy conditions, I wouldn't recommend these ones as of now. Instead, get the TWX9 or some other earbud. Overall, I like the X7s. With a bit of tweaking of their sound, I like them even more. Definitely worth looking at the Audio Technica ATH TWX7. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more reviews like this one, get subscribed and tap the bell button to stay notified if you have not done so already. I'm also on X where I talk about stuff I find interesting, so do follow me there. And if you want to know what I think about the TWX9, click here to watch this review. Also, please ignore what I said about the X9's controls. A software update later on made it just as customizable as the X7's controls.